Hey YouTube, one more video showing what we did with the play field and demonstrating all the gameplay features. Another thing to mention, uh, glasses off, coin doors open. Not sure if we talked about this before, but some kind of reliability things that you can do with these coin doors that uh, you can defeat some things that might cause you issues down the road in a home use environment. Uh, this is the, the lockout coil, so when the power is off to the game, there's a little rod that goes, should be between these two, and then there's a little wire pin that goes in both of these and, and makes the coin, the coin max automatically reject a coin unless the game was on and this plate was over, and then it would be in the position where it could accept the coin. Uh, these can get kind of toasty. You can see this one's kind of toasty. They can short and then give you problems with blowing fuses in the game. So kind of the, the easiest way to defeat this is there's gonna be a single wire and then two wires unsolder the single wire and leave the double wires in place and then this coil is no longer in circuit but you need to leave the power wire because this goes to another part of the game and different coils other reliability things that you can do um, kind of like we mentioned on the bottom panel there's a, a bounce slam switch that should always be closed for the game to work uh, you have another always closed switch on the coin door that you can just move both wires to the same tab that way you don't rely on how clean the switch is there's also a bounce switch like this in the back box too that you can solder over and then just make the game a little more reliable. Okay, so on to the play field. Things that we did, completely stripped the play field, cleaned it, waxed it, replaced all of the lamps that are above the play field. I also thoroughly despise the, the steel speed nuts that Gottlieb uses because they get locked on and when you try to take them off, it takes the whole post with it and rubbers and everything. And I think that's just a ridiculous system. So I always replace them just with the white rubber caps. Yeah, they might bounce off, but at least they're not a complete pain in the ass to take apart like those steel nuts. Uh, make sure you replace the rebound rubber here too. That gives you quite a different effect on trying to land this either as a skill shot or if you're trying to land it in the white pot bumper area. The all new rubbers um, from our first video. Remember that this pot bumper was pretty blown out, so that's all new parts above and below, pretty much besides the coil and the bracket, the whole pop bumper had to be replaced. Uh, both flippers were also rebuilt too. Really the only thing that was reused was the, I think you call that the, the shaft and the shoe, but new back covers and then new kits from uh, Pinball Resource. I guess they didn't have the, the paws in stock, but everything else is new. So everything's been cleaned up, polished, waxed, uh, all new drop targets too. We'll get those popped up here in a second. That was kind of a beast. I had to take that completely out of the machine to get it all cleaned up and put back together. Also opted for new dip targets behind the drop targets there. So all three of those are new. And I think that's about it for everything that happened up top. I already have one lamp out. Notice that, but we can go ahead and start a game. And I kind of go through the, the gameplay features because I now know what this game should be doing since we've got everything repaired. Uh, upon restart, oh, one other thing that I did, kind of looking at that credit unit, is I did put CoinMax back in in a coin bucket so the homeowner could drop coins if they wish, or it's also still hacked for free play. But uh, we can start a game. Uh, whenever you hit the, the credit button on the coin door, both players, whether you're doing a one or a two player game, they should both go to zero. Those are gonna start resetting, and then you'll. These are just run off of a score motor, so those are gonna flip around and out. And then ball should kick out to the lane, and then all of the targets should reset. So again, those are brand new from Pinball Resource. And then when we launch a ball, we can either try and get one of the jokers going or get it into the pop bumper. And all of these targets, when you hit them, are worth a thousand points. I'm gonna queue up player two as well, so we can show the changeover for that. So. This is worth a thousand points once it drops, so it's only worth a thousand. But if we had hit some of the jokers, that would increase each drop target by a thousand. So if we hit the green joker, where we could either roll it over there or we could hit this stand up target, that will light the saucer for an extra thousand, so now it's worth two thousand. It will also light this in lane for three thousand and this out lane for three thousand. But now, we will get every time we drop a target. Now we're going to get a thousand plus a thousand for that Joker. So now for player one, just knocked down one king and we got two thousand points. And if we hit another Joker, that's going to increase this by another thousand. So I'm going to knock down another queen, 
That was now worth three. And then if we get all three jokers here, then these are gonna be worth 4,000 a piece. So there's a white rollover or a white stand-up. There's also a purple rollover or a purple stand-up. And then this side lane is gonna do our, our gate feature. Get back to the coin, or back to the shooter lane, and then when it rolls over here, it should shut itself off, Then you're ready to launch the ball again. So the saucer, we have none of these were lit. We had no jokers yet. This would be worth a thousand. It would just kick the ball out. But with each one of these lit, it will add a thousand. And with all three lit, it's actually going to give us a special. So I'm going to toss it in there, and then we'll see that our credit unit increments as well. So ball in the saucer. And we got a, a special or a free game. Now the the countdown feature here is your your bonus collect. And that's based off of the hands, quote unquote, that you made here. So whenever you have any one of these hands lit, that will trip the bonus relay and then it's gonna count down. But it's always going to count down in order no matter how many of these you have lit. So right now, if we just drain the ball, it's gonna show this arrow, but it's not gonna give us, give us a thousand points because we didn't get jacks or kings as pairs. We're not gonna get this one because we didn't get jacks and kings. We'll get the queens, we'll get 3,000 for that and then we won't get the 4,000 or the 5,000, but it's gonna go through the motions every time as long as at least one of these is lit, it goes through the bonus sequence. So we'll go through and then you'll probably hear the three knocks. So we're at 1850 or 18,500 now. We'll get 3,000 for that, but then nothing for the rest. And then it'll switch over to player two, so these lights come on now. You also notice that the drop target bank resets between each ball. And then uh, after the first ball, so I'm just going to drain this. So we, we got just the, the thousands this time. So it's just going to do a thousand points on our player two. And then it's going to go through the rest. But it's not going to give us any points. And then on, so now back to player one. Ball two and three is when our double bonus is automatically lit. Which means when it goes through here, it's going to give us two of these, two of these, two of these, two of these, two of these. So we can kind of just jump around. So if we want to do a pair of kings... So we now have that lit, so we'll actually get this twice when it goes through the sequence. And then we can do the three queens. And then so we have our one pair, we have our three queens, and then both of these will give us our full house. And again, this is going to double count as we go through there. So we should get a thousand, a thousand, there'll be nothing, and then three thousand, three thousand, and then four thousand, four thousand, and nothing, nothing. So we can kind of listen to the ding. So right now we get 23,500, so this will be 24, 25, 28, nothing yet, 28, 31, 35, 39. And then, and then we didn't have the royal flush, so we didn't get the five. And then it's back to player two again. So that's pretty much how card whiz works. I got a little bit of strategy. You can either go for hands straight away and try to get a big bonus going, which will obviously be lost if you tilt. Or you could try to get your jokers lit first so that these are worth more. And then also getting all the jokers lit will go ahead and get you that special. So this play field, just hit the flipper button with my hip. Play field's all clean, top to bottom. All the switches are serviced on the underside. There's a sequence bank for all your combinations here as well. So like the two jacks relay and the two kings relay. Um, there's also relays for your jokers underneath there too. So that might be kind of hard for me to flip up and show, but underneath the play field, you have a sequence bank to go through and clean up too. And that's at the, right now it's at the top of the play field, but when the play field's flipped up, it'd be at the bottom underneath the drop targets. So that's pretty much it. Uh, customer's gonna come and pick this up in a couple days and hopefully enjoy their card whiz for a long time.